Our objective in this lesson is to calculate the parameter or a statistic of the given data. Let's have a quick review of our previous lesson, parameter or a statistic. In a recent survey of young professionals in the Philippines, 48% said they use both a tablet and a laptop. This is a survey, so this is a sample, therefore this is a statistic. Number two. The average length of service for 50% of the company's employees is 4 years. So this is just 50%, so just a sample. This is also a statistic. Number 3. Mr. Matematico found out that the standard deviation in his first summative test in statistics and probability is 3 points. He is the only teacher teaching the subject. Since he is the only one teaching the subjects, then it is understood that he handles the data for the whole population. So this is parameter. Here are the notations for parameter and a statistic. Again, parameter is a numerical value that describes the characteristics of a population. For the mean of a population, we use mu. Variance of a population, we use sigma squared. Standard deviation of a population, we use sigma. A statistic is a numerical value that describes the characteristics of a sample. For the mean of a sample, we use x bar. For the variance of the sample, we use s squared. And for standard deviation of a sample, we use s. We are also going to encounter x and small x, capital N, and small letter n for elements and size respectively. Take a look at this. You will notice that for parameter, we usually use Greek letters. And for a statistic, we use Roman letters. Here are the formulas for mean, variance, and standard deviation of a population. We are going to discuss one by one together with the example. Let's start. Denison is found of dogs. He has six in all. Listed below is the height of his dogs. Compute the population mean, population variance, and population standard deviation. So he has six dogs with the corresponding height. To solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a population, we are going to need three columns. X, X minus mu, and quantity X minus mu squared. For x, this is where we are going to put our data. In this example, this is the height of the dogs. So we have 28, 22, 15, 35, 30, and 20. And then you just have to add this up and this will give you 150. This is summation of x. Summation, so you just have to add all values of x. Now we can compute for the mean of the population. Since population, the formula is mu equals summation of x over n. Summation of x, we already have that, that is 150. What is capital N? That is the size of the population. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 150 divided by 6. And this will give us... 25. This is now the mean of the population. Now, let's go to the second column, x minus mu. Our first x is 28 minus our mu is 25. So 28 minus 25 and that will give us positive 3. Before continuing going downwards, I suggest you continue horizontally. Because what you are going to put here is just the square of your answer here. So our answer is 3. So 3 is squared and that is equal to 9. Now, second row. This time our x is 22. So 22 minus mu. 22 minus 25 is negative 3. And then let us square negative 3. Negative 3 is squared is also positive 9. Third row, this time our x is 15. So 15 minus our mu, 25. 
15 minus 25 is equal to negative 10. And then negative 10 is squared is equal to positive 100. Remember, when you square a negative number, it will be positive. Next row, 35 minus 25, that is equal to positive 10. And then 10 is squared is also 100. Next one, this time 30 minus 25, and that is equal to 5. And 5 is squared is equal to 25. Last one, we have 20 minus 25 is equal to negative 5. And negative 5 is squared is also equal to 25. And then we just have to sum this up. And this will give us 268. This is now the summation of quantity x minus mu is squared. Now we can compute for the variance. And since this is a population, then our formula is sigma squared is equal to the summation of quantity x minus mu squared, we already have that, divided by the population size. So this is 268 divided by 6. And this will give us 44.6667 or 44 and 6,667 10 thousands. I suggest when you are computing for the variance and standard deviation, if it is possible to have four decimal places, then do it so that it will be more accurate. Now, for the standard deviation, this is just the square root of our variance. So if you already have the variance, simply get the square root of it. And the square root of 44 and 6,667 10 thousands is 6 and 6,833 ten thousandths, or 6.6833. Now, let us have the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a sample. This will be the formulas that we are going to use. Just like in population, we are also going to need three columns here. We have here x, x minus x bar, and quantity x minus x bar squared. Since this is a sample, I'm just going to get a sample from our population. Recall that our population is the height of six dogs. Let us say I just want three samples. How will I choose? Use any simple random technique that I discussed in our previous lesson, sampling. Let us say that I have already randomly selected three dogs. And those are the dogs with a height of 15, 35, and 20. Same process as before. We add all this and this will give us 70. This is the summation of x. Now we can compute for the mean of the sample. And since this is a sample, we have x bar is equal to the summation of x over n. Notice that this time, our n is a small letter. This is the notation for sample size. Now, summation of x is equal to 70. Our sample size is 1, 2, 3. So 70 divided by 3. And this will give us 23.33. Now, for the second column, our first x is 15 minus our x bar is 23.33. And that will give us negative 0.833. Again, our answer in the second column, we just have to square for our third column. So quantity negative 8.33 is squared is equal to 69.3889. Again, four decimal places. Now, second x, our next x is 35. 35 minus 23.33 will give us 11.67. And then we square this. 11.67 squared is 136.1889. Next, we have 20. So 20 minus 23.33. And this is negative 3.33. Let us square this. Quantity negative 3.33 squared is equal to 11.0889. And then sum it up, 
and this will give you 216.6667. This is now the summation of quantity x minus x bar is squared. Now we can solve for the variance. And since this is a sample, we're going to use S squared. And notice in our denominator, instead of N, we have N minus 1. So let us substitute. Our answer here is 216.6667 divided by, if our N is 3, then N minus 1 is 2. So we have 216. 0.6667 divided by 2. And this will give us 108.3334. And finally, for the standard deviation of the sample, we're going to use S. S is equal to the square root of the variance. Now, we have already the variance, so we simply get the square root of it. And the square root of 108.3334 is equal to 10.4083. For the summary, here are the formulas that we used for parameter and statistic for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer, consider the following as your scores in 5 quizzes in statistics and probability. So your scores are 10, 7, 8, 9, and 8. And then afterwards, you will just get a random sample of 3 and let us say those are 7, 9, and 8. We are going to compute for the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation, both of the population and the sample. Let's start. Here are your scores in five quizzes. So the first thing to do is to sum this up, and this is equal to 42. After that, you can compute for the mu, and that is equal to the summation of x over n. Summation of x is 42. Our n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 42 divided by 5, and this is equal to 8.4. This is now the mean of our population. Now, for x minus mu, so we have 10 minus 8.4, and that is 1.6. Square 1.6, and that will be 2.56. Next, your x is 7 minus 8.4, and that is negative 1.4. Square this, and it will give you 1.96. And then your x is 8 minus 8.4, and that is negative 0 0.4. Square this, and it will give you 0 0.16. Next, you have 9 minus 8.4. That will give you 0 0.6. Square 0 0.6, and it will give you 0 0.36. Last x, 8 minus 8.4 is also negative 0 0.4. And squaring this will also give you 0 0.16. And then we sum this up, and this is equal to 5.2. Now we can solve for the variance. So we have the summation of quantity x minus mu squared divided by our n, which is 5. And this will give us 1.04. For the standard deviation, we simply have to get the square root of our variance. And the square root of 1.04 is 1.0198. Let us continue with the sample. Here are the three scores that we randomly pick. So we are going to add this, and this will give us 24. Now we can solve for the sample mean summation of x over n. Our n is 1, 2, 3. So 24 divided by 3, and this is equal to 8. This is our sample mean. Our first x is 7, so 7 minus 8 is negative 1. A square of negative 1 is positive 1. Next x is 9. 9 minus 8 is positive 1. 1 is squared is still 1. And then we have 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. 0 squared is still 0. Add this up. This will give us 2. Now we can solve for sample variance. And we have the summation of quantity x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. 
If our n is 3, then n minus 1 is equal to 2. So we have 2 divided by 2. And this is equal to 1. Last one, sample is standard deviation. And this is just the square root of our variance. So the square root of 1. And square root of 1 is also 1. Gets? Our next lesson is sampling distributions of sample mean.